right, you decided to become a JavaScript developer and now you are searching all YouTube on how to learn JavaScript fast because you don't want to waste any of your time. But this is the wrong way to approach this because if you want to learn something fast, you'll probably miss a bunch of important aspects, a bunch of important concepts, and you won't be able to internalize every single concept in the right way and you won't be able to understand it, you know, use it confidently. So in this video, I want to give you a few tips that will help you like really master and understand JavaScript so you can become a professional developer. Now I'm dealing with a bunch of people and people have problems. And most of the people that I'm dealing with and have problems with JavaScript is because they are impatient. If you are impatient to learn something, you won't learn it. And I see this with a bunch of courses. They just give you like very simple projects. You build them and you feel like you actually understood the concept and then you rush to move on. But here's what you need to fix if you really want to get good at JavaScript. You need to stay where you are until you are completely comfortable with said concept. And here's an analogy so you can understand what I mean by that. Imagine you want to play basketball, right? And you learn how to shoot the ball and you score a three pointer. If you've done that once, are you ready to play an entire game with someone else? Okay, against another team? Probably not. Are you even confident to say that you can repeat that same shot over and over and over and over again? Probably not. You move and change the angle. You try from that angle. And you try from all the angles all the time until you can score, let's say, nine out of 10 shots. And that's when you know that you know how to score three points, right? I don't know exactly how basketball works, but I hope you understand, like, I'm trying to bring the real world, you know, the real world sports and whatnot, so you can understand how JavaScript works because JavaScript is the same as a real sport in the real world, okay? So you wanna make sure that whenever you are learning something, you stay with that concept until you are extremely comfortable with it. Try to mess with that concept from so many angles. It doesn't even have to make sense in terms of like creating a real application. Stay with that concept until it makes sense to you. Okay, that's my first tip. The second tip is what I do with some of my clients that I see that they are struggling with some concept is I make them write a 1000 or, or 2000 word essay on said concept where they need to explain it to me, where they need to show me examples of where that concept is being used in the real world. And the reason why I do that is not because I'm cruel, it's because whenever you do active research, what's happening with your brain, you are active, you are engaged in that subject because you wanna create something. And then when you try to explain it to someone else, which is the essay, that means you really understood the concept. And I've done this plenty of times with a bunch of my students. And every single time I do it, they really nail it because they want to create a beautiful presentation for the others, for myself. And it's kind of like a joke, ha ha ha, you need to do the presentation now. But everyone knows that in secret, they would want to be told to create a presentation, okay? So I'm not sure how you're gonna apply this, but if you ever feel like, hey, I don't understand callbacks in JavaScript, I don't understand variables in JavaScript, I don't understand functions in JavaScript, I don't understand async await in JavaScript, I don't understand promises, I don't understand React hooks. Try to make a presentation of 1000 words, explain it to someone, explain it to yourself, explain it to a friend, and I'm pretty sure that you'll actually nail that subject. Another tip that I wanna give you here is to never be afraid to go back. So I have people that I work with from complete beginning, and I have people that have some experience that come into the program and they think they are, you know, the shit and then they get humbled real quick because of the challenges that I have in there. I'm gonna tell you a story of a guy that joined a month ago, like three weeks ago. He was actually working on a similar project to our flagship project, the crypto app. It's also for sale, link in the description. Quick plug, I hope you don't mind. And he was working on that and I'm, I'm like, hmm, okay, it's not worth for me to start this guy from JavaScript because he obviously knows it, but just to make sure that he understands React and all the most important concepts in React, I'm gonna make him start React from scratch. And if he's really good, he's gonna fly through it, else he's gonna struggle and understand the concepts. And when we did that, he realized that in three weeks, he only got to challenge number two and we have 10 challenges. If he would have had a solid JavaScript foundation, he should have been able to go through those uh, 10 challenges in one month, right? So then what we discussed was, hey, you need to start from not the very beginning of JavaScript, but like kind of in the middle of the JavaScript program, right? And I'm not telling you this to join my program. I'm telling you that 
sometimes if you are not getting good at something or if you cannot crack a barrier if you have a plateau it's okay to go back and revisit some of the old concepts try some exercises build some apps with old concepts that you are that you think that you are better than because that's when mastery comes into play when you do the boring stuff and when you are able to really crush the boring stuff because you understand it so well another guy went through, through my program from the beginning almost i think he was also stuck close to the flagship app he just didn't understand certain concepts and i was like dude were you drunk going through this program because i'm a bit of a gordon ramsay right so whenever i see something that i don't like i'm gonna call you out you don't understand this you will have a very difficult time moving forward i told him okay you need to start again from challenge to react challenge two all the way to 10 okay because you are missing so many concepts because you rushed to go through them you pushed right with force you've learned those things with force learned and now you don't know anything so my decision was a tough decision because it was a tough decision from my side for him because i don't want him to feel like he's wasting time it was an, a not an emotional decision from my side because i knew that that's gonna help him win time in the future so if you ever feel like you don't understand something you are at a certain chapter in your learning journey coding journey and whatnot and you cannot break that plateau it's basically because you are missing something in the fundamentals from the early stages that's the only way to explain this there is nothing wrong with doing that actually what we are always discussing like hey why is this working so well for you why are you so good at this we are always discussing this because we are sharing like strategies right the guys that are in the program are sharing strategies and what they're doing what they're feeling etc etc with the other guys right the best guys always say i'm always going back whenever i finish some major goal in the program i always go back and revisit some of the old concepts just to make sure i really understood them because when you read the same book over and over you get something out of it so it's better to read one book 100 times than to read 100 books one time don't feel bad don't feel like you are missing out if you go back and restudy relearn the old concepts because that's gonna be the difference between you making the big bucks as a coder and you being unemployed and staying in your job even if you want to go and work for amazon google facebook instagram twitter pinterest whatever the interviews are based on some of the basic stuff you've done or you are supposed to do in university like data structures algorithms all that stuff that's basics whenever you are feeling bad with something go back to the basics here and i'm going to give you another example i have a mix of online and offline coaching with my fitness so i have an online coach which gives me like the rough plan the exercises and whatnot whenever i feel like i want to get some offline coaching and i book him for one hour every now and then so i can practice my form right because sometimes when i do my lifts with my arms uh he tells me like hey you should move the hand forward right and then he does these micro adjustments and then i grow because it's always about the basics always 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 whenever you are in doubt go back and check do i have the basics do i have the fundamentals but it requires discipline to be humble and to be patient life is like you are a bunch of skills added together and that makes you and you you need to learn how to learn skills and this advice that i gave you doesn't apply only to programming it applies to anything so internalize these concepts think about if i'm right or wrong be active about it implement them and let me know that's the video for today i hope you liked it if you want to be part of my mentorship program and you want skyrocket your results if you want to be like really good really fast if you want to have roadmap guidance crazy community live calls feedback resume support interview prep all that good stuff whatever you can think of i solved all your problems and i keep solving them and improving them and if you want to be part of that links in the description this is for you if you want to become a remote front-end developer or remote full-stack developer okay and you need to be interested in learning javascript that's kind of the stack that we are using anyway I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.